here doesn't close. So let's demonstrate. So you can see here it's still open and it's gonna hold. That shouldn't have happened. <laughs> Hi, this is Brittany and you're watching Locked Queen Bee. Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. If you are a new subscriber, thank you so much for subscribing. And if you are a returning subscriber, thank you so much for coming back. And if you haven't subscribed yet, go ahead and hit that subscribe button and also click on the bell so that you get notifications whenever I upload a new video. Alrighty, let's go ahead and get into it. So I have been seeing these alligator clips all over social media. I've been seeing them mainly um, in the lock world where, you know, we have large sections of hair that we are working with and our hair is pretty thick. And so we need proper tools to secure our hair and pin it out of the way and all that good stuff. So um, I finally went ahead and got some of these clips because I wanted to see what the big deal was. And so I have two sets that I'm going to basically compare for you guys today. So the first one is this brand HHNLL, which I ordered directly from Amazon. This pack was actually $5.99 and you get 10 pieces. What I really like about this is that you can obviously choose different colors and purple is my favorite color. So I really was very excited about these clips. The other brand that I have is this um, brand by Diane. So this is a very well-known brand in the hair care world and this is just a basic black. And so we're going to look at these two brands and give um, some comparison. Um, first off, what I want to say is that prior to getting these alligator clips, I was using basic regular, um, I guess, duck clips if you want to call them that. So I have this one right here, which is very slick. And so the problem with this is that it slides out of my hair not too long after I secure and pin my hair. So let's show what that looks like. So you can see um, what the issue with this one is that one, it doesn't close all the way. So you can see that it's still pretty open right here, which is not what we want because it's eventually going to slide right out. Also, you can see that my hair isn't as tightly secured, which is not a big deal. It just means that I have to constantly repin my hair if it does slip out and all of that. Sometimes what I do is I use um, two, two of them at a time just to make it easier if that's the case. And then I kind of just go like that. But I really want to be able to pin all of my hair with just one clip. Then I also use like the traditional silver metal ones. These aren't bad. It's just that these are um, very tight and they do expand kind of wide here. So that's not a big deal. I just don't like these ones as much as these because this because it's a bigger clip it should hold more hair so let's give this one a try so this holds my hair tighter than the um green ones that we were just looking at the issue is that it doesn't hold as much hair and sometimes i use multiple clips as well with these clips so, okay, so let's start with the purple alligator clips first um, and give these a try. What I want to point out is that when I was shopping for clips, what I really noticed is that most of them pretty much have this style of ridges at the bottom where it kind of catches on your hair and can snag your hair. And so once I tried out these clips prior to filming this video, I noticed that there was some snagging going on that I wasn't really aware of and wasn't really expecting. So let's give this one a try. So I don't know if you noticed it, but when I was putting the clip in, I could definitely feel it snagging on pieces as it was trying to glide through the rest of my hair. Um, it does hold my hair pretty securely, which I'm happy about, and I only need one clip to do that, so that is great. The issue is, is that when I'm going to pull this clip out of my hair, it's definitely going to snag and that's not what we want to happen. So I don't know if you heard it, but you could hear like a slight popping noise or whatever when I was pulling it out. It only snagged once or twice, which is not that big of a deal. But if I'm using this clip multiple times in my hair in like one session, that's a lot of snagging. So let's do one more demonstration. So 
So that wasn't bad that time. It didn't snag at all. So that was good. So let's go to the Diane clip. So this one, um, there's two issues with two um, things I want to point out with this clip. So one, I prefer this clip just because of the ridges. So the ridges are kind of like little humps and they're kind of like smoother. So I feel like they're not going to snag my hair as much as the other style of ridges. The other issue is that these clips, in my opinion, are defective. So if you look closely here you, and I'm running my finger over it and I can feel it, there's a sharp ridge that is definitely going to catch on my hair and snag it. So um, when I went to my local hair store to buy these, I checked out the other packages that they had to see if this was just a one a one package deal or if it was all of them. It was all of them. When I looked at the picture of this um, clip on Amazon, I didn't see this defectiveness. So I don't know if it was just the package or the the package of clips that my store got or if this is something that's to be expected with this brand. So I do want to point that out. So let's go ahead and give this one a try. Mm, let's try it again. So there was some uh, some difficulties with entering this clip into my hair. I could feel it catching on stuff, and, or my hair rather. And um, that's not as big of a deal, but I just, just want to call that out there. So let's go ahead and take this clip out. So this clip um, has the smoothest uh, pulling out of my hair or however you want to phrase it. I didn't feel it snagging at all. So I feel it snagging when it goes into my hair and then when I pull it out it's so smooth and easy and no snagging at all. So let's go ahead and give one more demonstration. The other thing that I want to point out with this clip is that I don't feel that it secures my hair as tightly as these clips. This was definitely secure. I could feel the tension from my hair being pinned with this one. There's not as much tension, but because it's the same style of clip, it holds my hair better than the clips that I was using before. So let's go ahead and take this one out. Smooth, yeah. So I am really glad that I gave these alligator clips a try. They definitely are worth it in my opinion if you need some better tools to secure your hair while you're working through it, especially if you have locks and natural hair. So I'm not sure if it's a big deal to you, the ridges and how much snagging you're willing to deal with, but I think that either brand is a good choice for you as long as with the Diane brand, you get the ones that aren't defective. And so yeah, I hope that this video was helpful. I hope that you learned something about alligator clips if you haven't used them before. And yeah, let me know if you have any comments or questions for me in the comment section below. And thank you for watching. Bye guys.